favorite book right now, Fourth Wing. I was so excited when I got it from the library. I'm that far through, so I have like around 200 pages left. And I really like it. I think it's really good. I don't think I love it. I don't know. I mean, I see the hype. Like, it's really good and it's really entertaining. And it definitely reminds me of Divergent, but just with like dragons and stuff. So that's fun. But yeah, I really like it. And I will I'll update if I have more thoughts that come to mind. I recently have accumulated some books. that I would include a little haul in this video because I'm very excited about all of the books that I got. The first ones, I have to start with these because I'm literally itching to show them. I got the UK covers of the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. So we have Once Upon a Broken Heart and then The Bout of Never After. Let's give them each a moment because they are just so beautiful. Like, I couldn't get the US editions like they're not ugly like I don't dislike them but compared to these I feel like these just like fit the story so much better because these books I re I read them recently and absolutely love them this one was four stars this was five stars and they're just such like magical books and like these covers really encapsulate that and so I love that and I'm just so happy that I own these like even like in the front it has this the little details like that mean everything to me the maps at the beginning i love i love and i'm so excited for the third book i can't remember when it comes out is it august that it comes out it better be but yeah i got these and then i'm like kind of displaying them on the shelf which i'll show you guys once i finish showing all the other books that i got so I got those two and I got them from, it's called Blackwells or some, something like that. It's like a UK bookstore, I guess. And they came like really fast. I was shocked because it said it would take, I want to say like 10 to 15 business days, but I think it came within a week, which was amazing because I am not patient. And then I have one more book that I bought new. The other ones are all like thrifted or were given to me. I got Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. By Heather Fawcett. This is one of my five star reads, one of my favorite books of this year. I tend to, when I buy books, I would rather buy books that I've already read and know that I love. It makes perfect sense to me because I'm like, why would I want like a book that I potentially hate on my shelf that I also spent my money on? I don't know. Like, I feel like if I hated a book, I also wouldn't want to like give it to a friend for them to read, even though they might still like it. But you know what I mean? I don't know. I just, it makes me so much happier to see books that I love on my shelf and like I just I needed this one I love the cover it's so the spine is so cute this one also has the second one coming out fairly soon I think like next year actually I'm trying to win the signed arc on other Bossette's Instagram but I don't know about that so yeah this one I actually got in Cleveland at I put that footage in it was at fireside books so i got a book from goodwill a few days ago and it's the night country by melissa albert i absolutely love this cover it is stunning and it's a hazelwood novel 
which I read the Hazelwood in high school, I think in book club. And I remember really liking it. It's like kind of like dark fairy tale vibes. Um, and so when I saw this, actually my friend found it and I was like, oh, that's beautiful. And I was like, I'm going to get that because I enjoyed the first book a lot. And then the cover of this was just so pretty and it was at Goodwill. So it was inexpensive. And I was like, I just think that would look so cute on my shelf. So I got this one. This is one that I haven't read, but I bought it secondhand. So it's not like I spent like $20 on a book that I might hate. So I'm okay with it. So we have that. All those books have such a similar vibe. They're all like kind of magical like fairy tale vibes that's just what I love in books I think it's so fun and then this book I got at a used bookstore it's called Garden Spells by Sarah Addison Allen who she wrote Other Birds which is a book that I read this year that I loved um and I had just seen someone talk about this and say that it was I feel like they said it was like cozy fall vibes or something and I had just added it to my TBR and then I saw it at the store and I was like okay I'm gonna get it because like that's a sign and like, I love the cover. It looks like magical. To me, it looks like magical and like summery. So I'm very, very excited to read this. I think I'm gonna read it fairly soon. It's definitely like up there on my list. So we have that. And then I went to a few little free libraries near me because I was getting rid of a bunch of books. And I ended up finding Verity by Colleen Hoover, which I ate this book up when I read it. It literally had me shook to my core. I remember, after I read it, I had to go like debrief the whole thing to my mom because I was like, this is so crazy. And I don't know if I would feel that way now, but I don't care because I loved it at the time. And so I wanted to own this one. And I was really happy to find it for free in a little free library. And then the, I have four other books that were given to me. Um, my brother's girlfriend's family is moving and they had a bunch of these like beautiful leather bound like classics. And they're like, do you want any of these? And I was like, sure, because they're so pretty. So first I got Jane Eyre. It's beautiful. Yeah, they have like the gold pages. They're super pretty. And then Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. This is one like I need to read this. Like, I feel like I can't be a true reader if I've never read like these classic that's a romance, right? I think it is. And then I got Pride and Prejudice, which I started Pride and Prejudice last year and I never finished it. I just like, it was too hard to understand, but I'm going to give it another shot at some point. And I was like, the, like, this is so pretty. It might motivate me to read it. And then the last one I got was Little Women, which I've been wanting to read this for so long. I haven't seen the movie. Yeah. I feel like this is just a book that so many people love. It's so well loved. And I just, I need to read it for myself. So that is my little book haul, little. I am very happy with all of these books. And then I have actually, I wanted to show two books that I'm unhauling that I'm gonna like at some point get rid of and put in a little free library if I find like a book I want. So I decided to do November 9 by Colleen Hoover because I was like, I got Verity. I liked Verity so much more than this one. So I might as well let somebody else read this. Although I am like, a little bit like not wanting to get rid of it because this is like this cover they don't make anymore and that makes me like maybe I should keep it because it's like special but that's stupid so I'm probably gonna get rid of that and then also The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins which is a pretty good thriller mystery book but I just thought these could be two that might catch someone's attention and then I wanted to show where I ended up putting those two books I put them right here like on top of my shelf and I just think they look so pretty because there's like the gold in the covers and the gold in the lamp here I'll turn that on too I just I needed them to be but this honestly the spines are really pretty too I just absolutely love those I wanted to take a little bit of a moment to discuss Fourth Wing because that was kind of like the book I've been reading throughout this video and I finished it a few days ago and I have like my final thoughts I think. 
I did really enjoy this. I thought it was so fun. I gave it four stars. So I don't think I loved it as much as like a lot of people have. But I do understand the hype around it because to me it was very reminiscent of like the books that like people my age we read when we were young like Hunger Games and Divergent. It felt very similar to that because there's a lot of sparring and like hand-to-hand -hand, like combat that kind of thing and so it really reminded me of Divergent in that sense and it was very high stakes and it's like set in a school type but in a war college and I was like I don't know how I'm gonna feel because dragons I don't feel strongly toward I'm like I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy the dragon aspect but I actually really liked it and I thought that the dragons were so cute not cute but they were characters in themselves which was cool and so I liked that aspect a lot I liked our main character Violet I know some people said it kind of gave Wattpad vibes like some of the writing but I don't really agree with that I thought it was mature I wrote down my thoughts in my book journal which is so helpful I liked the romance I thought they were cute I don't know if it was like the best developed relationship I've ever read about but I didn't mind honestly I thought they were cute but things I I had a few things I didn't like there were certain times where I was so confused as to what was happening I could not visualize it at all and that is something I really don't like when it happens in books because I just feel I'm like I'm reading but I have not a clue what's going on like not one clue and so there were a lot of times where I was like okay I know something like high stakes and intense is happening but I couldn't tell you what it is so that was something that happened occasionally throughout the book that I was like uh, uh okay I guess I'm just gonna keep going because I don't have much else of a choice but overall like it wasn't that detrimental to my reading experience like I understood most of it and then one other thing I didn't like was the end I thought was so drawn out there's this one big scene just never ended I was like oh my god when is this gonna end I feel like it kind of made the end lose some momentum because otherwise I thought the end would have been super good and ex like explosive almost I really did like the end and I will 100% read the next book what is it iron flame i'm very excited to read that does anyone is it gonna be is it just gonna be a duology or are there gonna be more i don't know okay so those are my thoughts on fourth wing i am super happy that i read it because also like look at the i feel like the text is pretty small and like the pages are filled i don't know but i think it was just fun to have a, a new fantasy world. So I did really enjoy this and I would definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm.